a very good morning students welcome back to 8th standard science video class let us start with the continuation of the lesson force and pressure in previous class you learned about introductions about force and pressure and pressure exerted by air and force and pressure in liquids and pascal law now you learn about surface tension and next we will learn about surface tension the surface tension is the property of liquid the amount of force acting per unit length on the surface of the liquid is known as surface tension there is amount of force act on the surface of the liquid is known as surface tension and its unit is newton meter power minus 1 the surface tension applications of surface tension the surface tension is the reason for many events such as how does the water rise upward in a tree or plant against the force of gravity so against the gravitational force how the water rise upward in a tree or plant these are all due to the surface tension based on the principle of surface tension in xylem tissues which is present in the plant it is a very narrow vessels the water molecules are absorbed by the roots of the plant and these vessels xylem vessels which help to rise upward the water due to capillary action and this action is caused by surface tension of water and next one is the water strider insect which slides on the water surface easily due to the surface tension of water and next one is viscosity if you pour the three types of liquids such as water olive oil and honey if you pour three types of liquid in a ground surface what will happen which one moves uh, very faster that is the water flows faster than other liquids the coconut oil flows with moderate speed that is the olive oil or coconut oil anything which move which flows on moderate speed and ghee which is flow very slowly this is due to the frictional force is forced is formed between the layer of liquid while in motion that force is known as viscous force and such property of the liquid is known as viscosity and the viscous force is measured by the unit is poise next i will explain about types of friction the frictions can be classified into two types static friction and kinetic friction the kinetic friction is again subdivided into two types that is sliding friction and rolling friction first i will explain about static friction the friction experienced by bodies which are at rest is known as static friction that means the friction is caused in rest subject rest object that is known as static friction and kinetic friction the friction experienced in moving body is known as kinetic friction that is the friction is experienced in rest body is known as static friction and the friction is experienced in the moving body is known as kinetic friction and the kinetic friction is again subdivided into two categories what are they yes that is sliding friction and 
rolling friction sliding friction that means if one body is slides over another body that is known as sliding friction and next one is rolling friction that means if the one body rolls over another surface of the body is known as rolling friction with the help of any wheels the rolling frictions can be work next we will learn about that is the for static frictions uh, which can be act on the rest positions of the body and the sliding frictions and rolling frictions these are that uh, some of the example is there and next one is factors affecting friction there are three factors which affect the friction these are nature of surface weight of body area of contact first nature of surface if the body move in rough surface it will be difficult and in other hand if the body moves in smooth surface it will be easy that is if your body move in rough surface it is very difficult to move on that and if the body move in the smooth surface it is very easily to move on that because due to the causes of friction on the various surface of the bodies and next one is weight of the body if you pedal a cycle without any load or weight in carrier means it is easy to move but if you carry any load in carrier then you pedal the cycle it is very difficult to move because the weight on carrier increases friction between tire and road so it is very difficult to riding on the bicycle with the carry with the loading of weight that weight can be increase the friction between the tire and road and third one is area of contact the friction is directly related to the area of contact between the two surface if the area of contact is greater then the friction will be greater if it is the area of contact is lesser then the friction will be less next we will learn about advantages and disadvantages of friction first one advantages of friction the friction is necessary for our day to day activities that first one is we can hold the objects in our hand due to the frictions and if we walk on the road because of friction if it is the friction is not there means you will be tend to fall down and writing on paper with the pen is easy due to the friction and the automobiles can move safely due to the friction between the tires on the road and we are able to light a match stick with the help of the frictions between the match stick and the match box and next we learn about the disadvantages of friction the excess amount of energy is needed to overcome the friction and this leads to wastage of energy and next one is the friction produce heat which cause the physical damage to the machines if the overheat can be produced within the machines means it can be physically damaged to the machines so these are the disadvantages of the frictions and next we will learn about increasing and decreasing effects of frictions area of contact that is if the we already know if the if we increase the surface area the frictions can also be increased if it is decreased means the uh, frictions can also be decreased and next one is using lubricants substance which is used to reduce the frictional force that is known as lubricants once again the substance which is used to reduce the frictional force is known as 
lubricants and you already know well known about that lubricants you have to apply some of the oils and grease into this uh, your vehicles or bicycles because to reduce the frictional force some of the examples for lubricants are grease coconut oils graphite and castor oils and next one is using ball bearing rolling friction is smaller than sliding frictions so the sliding friction is replaced by rolling frictions because if you use the wheel like substances means it is can be easy uh, and reduce the frictional force also with the use of this ball bearing so students i hope you understood about frictional force types of frictions and surface tensions viscosity and what are the advantages disadvantages and the increasing and decreasing of friction thank you students